Hi guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Sydney City and thank you for joining me again on this episode. I saw the comments, the likes, the shares on the last video and thank you for your opinions. Like every opinion mattered and I got to learn some things from the comments and also the messages I got about it. Thank you so much for joining this community and let's help it grow. So before you go, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Now, my name is Inkosala. I am fondly called Simi Speaks. I'm a lifestyle and self-care YouTuber and that's just that about it. I'm based in Lagos, Nigeria. Let's get right into the video. talking about solo dating today it's it's a way topic to talk about so, and it's not about it's not just for singles please people in relationship need times for yourself and that's what we're talking about Solo dating is the art of treating yourself the way you treat your best friend your partner your family members it's actually treating yourself the way you deserve to be treated really the way you deserve to be loved the way you deserve to be careful cared for rather and that's about it so this thing is, you know, the way they say you, 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 you should enjoy your company. It's about enjoying your company, your company, loving upon yourself, treating yourself like the best way you can, even irrespective of the fact that you have a partner or not, or you have a friend or not. For, for someone like me, I won't, I won't actually go anywhere without going with someone. That was before I found out about solo dating. If I'm going to the market, I want to go with someone. If I'm going to the cinema, I want to go with someone. If I'm going anywhere, I want to go with someone. I, it was almost like I was always running away from myself. I don't know if you get I don't know if you relate. But I'm always running away from myself. And it's always like, if I don't have someone to go with, I'm not going to the place. That kind of thing. So I will tell you about different ways whereby you can solo date and still have fun. I mean, enjoy yourself, enjoy your company and all. For me, I started with cinemas. Cinemas. <laughs> I, I, I normally won't go to cinema without a friend, without my family, without somebody. So the first step to it is to not feel bored, to not feel weird. Go to a cinema, find a cinema close to where you live. Go there, have fun, watch a movie. And you know, when, it, when you're done with the movie, you can just uh, just go home immediately and nothing happens. It's like, oh, you just want to see a movie. So that's a form of solo dating. Another one is going to the beach. I've done that before also. I went to the beach by myself one time and I just glorified nature and I enjoyed myself. The cool breeze of of the beach and that's another way you can solo date you can enjoy your own company another is to go to a restaurant you know how like there are lists of restaurants that you want to go you want to go to just pick a particular one one day and go there have fun chill get a table to yourself you can go to a bar and just take drinks and just enjoy yourself for someone like me i would make up i would look good and I'll go to a restaurant and I'll eat alone and I'll come back. It's like I'm treating myself the way, the, you know, the way you actually go on a date with someone, treat yourself, put on heels, wear a nice dress, because you can meet people there. It's a form of interaction, like it's, it's, it's a means of like relating with people. You get to meet new people and you can just discuss and that stuff. Another form of solo dating, this one might require money and uh, stuff. But you can also go to a spa. I mean, in Lagos, that we are, you can find an average spa of like 25k, 40k. I mean, I just want to relax and be taken care of. Just chill. Go for a spa date by yourself. Get your nails done. Get your. Just by yourself. You can relate to the masseuse. You can relate to the person doing your pedicure and enjoy yourself, really, by yourself. You're in your company. Another form of solo dating is go on a tour in your own place, in your city. You know, for Lagos now, we have things like LCC, 
you have like very nice spaces there you want to go to you can go to make art gallery you can just have fun just go there explore and in all of this you get to find yourself you get to you get to find who you really are you know that oh i love art you can go for a sip and paint go and paint develop your painting skills you can go to lcc and have fun you even meet new people like if you're a single person, you might meet somebody. You don't know. You don't. They will not come and meet in your house. <laughs> really. Another form of solo dating is shopping. You can actually go shopping by yourself. Buy new things for yourself. Treat yourself. You know. Look good. Get something that you would have wanted someone else to get for. You can get it for yourself. Save up and look good go shopping by yourself another one for advanced people that they have mastered solo dating because this can be really weird it can be really really weird and that's when on it like traveling by yourself traveling by yourself i know it's 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 another level we want to travel to our babes want to travel with but if you have the means to you can travel by yourself and just explore the world and just enjoy yourself this helps you to fine-tune yourself. I know we are all about the, you take me as I am, or oh, that's it. But we can really do better for ourselves if we really do not love ourselves the way we deserve to be loved. There's no other way someone else can love us. There's no other way someone can show us that we would be contented with. Like, if you don't really know what you even want, if you don't know what you love you don't know who you are really there's no way you can relate it to somebody else or show the kind of love to somebody else and i'll keep saying this you can't pour what you don't have you can't give unto someone what you don't have if you have love you do give love if you have joy you give joy so this is self-care video and i hope you all try to like do one of these things and I'll see you in my next episode. Thank you very much. Let me know if any of you has solo dated before, where you can go to give people opinions, give them options in the comment section. Thank you once again. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment. Please let me see your comments. And please, thank you very much for joining me on this episode of Season 6. Until next time, I want you to know that I love you. Oh, God loves you more. Ciao.